Yeah, and she I said she was right. In my favor. She she was right for a while. So do do you do are you do you stand with the um with her being the like architect of his demise? Is that where you stand? Like are you are you are you like against her in that sense? Like do you think she's the she's the one that did something wrong here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if I would say, like, I would call it, like, she's the architect of his demise. I honestly, I haven't been, like, I haven't been following the case, like, as deeply as I might have with other, like, pop culture or, like, other celebrity, like, moments mm -hmm. and shit like that. Um, but 100, like, she's an abuser. You right. know what I mean? Like, she's an abuser. Like, there is no... There's like and not I, just physically. It is just so like, yeah. insane to me that there's like a debate over it. Like I didn't think that there was, and I don't think that it's a huge one. To be fair, like I don't. I think the majority of people are like Amber Heard is a fucking monster because she is. <laughs> but I think I also guess I never like recognize how much that affected like Johnny Depp's like career or like everything else. Like obviously it had like a, an emotional and like mental physical effect on him. Yeah for the duration of like the abuse but it did have a financial effect on him also but i i and i never like even realized that because in my head like johnny depp is johnny depp you know what i mean right. like he's like untouchable to me um and I, I i and to be fair a part of that is also like my own i mean i don't know if i would call it bias but that idea that i'm like well even if it was the other like we've seen the other way around where the man is the abuser yeah. and they are not like, they don't get consequences in Hollywood. Like, you know what I mean? Like they don't get shit taken away from them. Like their careers are not over. So I, for the, yeah, there, you I know, mean, there, so I'm there's like, been some people that have, their careers have been over. I mean, like as of lately, yeah. yes, but also like how many, you know what I mean? Like in terms of like, right. Like and also what retrospectively we're talking speaking, about, like what we're talking about away with that shit for, yeah. shit for way too long. Yeah, what yeah. we're talking about is people like, yeah, Harvey Weinstein and stuff like that. But that's, those are cases that were like the abuse, the length and yeah, the yeah. scope were so drastic, drastic that like, yeah, I mean, if that doesn't fucking do anything, then nothing will. Right, where right, it's right. like, there's like half a fucking Hollywood has some kind of allegations about abuse or sexual harassment or whatever. Yeah. And it, you know what I mean? Like Casey it's Affleck's fine. career is not fucking over. Yeah. Like there's like, there's so much, you know? So I, I just don't even think of that as like something spe like, especially somebody like Johnny Depp, you know what I mean? It's like, do you think that you could ruin Brad Pitt's career? No, that's Brad Pitt. <laughs> like what? You yeah, know what I mean? He's like, such a staple. He's such a, like a iconic. He's so iconic. Yeah. You know he's like, I like, so I feel like in that sense, also like, also this happened like so long ago that I didn't realize for how long it had been happening, you know, and how long yeah. it got like dragged on for. Cause I remember like hearing about that like years ago, but I thought, Oh, it'll, it'll just pass. Or no, whatever. not even that. But I thought like, Oh damn, like Johnny Depp, you know, is a victim of abuse. And, and again, like I thought that like it was, over, it was yeah. that those were the news. It was like, fixed. Yeah. That not fixed, but you know, like that, that was the case. That was the story. Right. And well, then I think, I think I, what, I'm in a weird position about this because I definitely think that she's 100% the bad guy because of the fact that she used the Me Too movement at its height to drag him under there. And that's why his financial success deteriorated and mm -hmm. his all that all that stuff de deteriorated because of the fact that she accused him of that in the middle of or the height of the Me Too movement. Mm -hmm. So that's when he lost everything. Yeah. And that's what this trial is about is him is a defamation trial. Yeah. Like you 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 use you smeared my name so and I lost everything without any proof when the, when actually the opposite was true. You were the yeah. one that was hurting me. Yeah. Right? Um so the timeline there specifically is, is 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 a little weird, but I find this to be a fascinating trial, like I, just a fascinating thing from many levels, like for from many a, reasons, from 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 a, from, a, from, a, from a very from a cultural perspective, from a society perspective, from from a man's perspective, from a woman's perspective, like it's just a very 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 fascinating thing to be watching, and like in a way, I'm a little bit transfixed by it because I'm like, holy crap, like. In a way, it is 
a toxic relationship on display. Yeah. Right? Because I'm not convinced that, like, I know that people are Team Depp or Team Hurt or whatever. I, I, you, I stand with Johnny Depp, Justice for Johnny. All of those things are trending all the time. I get it, right? Because of the the optics of it all or whatever. But I don't think that he wasn't contributing to the toxicity of that relationship. Yeah, sure. Especially because of the fact that he has been very open about substance abuse and his 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 his, uh, his addictions and things like that. I'm not saying that he is an abuser. That, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying that those kinds of things or that amount of disconnect or that amount of pain ma- management or things like that, all of those things manifest themselves differently. And it just doesn't make you a very clear headed person. So like, even if, even if you don't, even if you're not hitting somebody or even if you're not like verbally abusing somebody, it doesn't mean that you don't contribute to the bad energy in the room. Here's where I like, I struggle to get behind that because I do get that. I get, and like, to be fair, like if like by the time that like, whenever Amber heard kind of like all those allegations came out that she was kind of accusing him, even though she wasn't like directly accusing him, but everybody was like, Oh, you're accusing Johnny Depp. Of yeah, it. yeah. Yeah. It was like some article. Of right? course I was m- willing to be like, damn, damn, y'all are about to ruin Johnny Depp for me, huh? Yep. Because he has a history of, you know, like a lot of fucking issues and I get that, but I feel I have reservations about kind of bringing that up not because I don't think that that's true, that it was a toxic relationship and that he pro- that he contributed to it, but then because it almost feels like we are requesting him to be like a perfect victim. And like, it takes away the responsibility from the actual perpetrator. You know what I mean? Like all those things can be true. Like all those things can be true, but to bring them into the conversation, I feel like diminishes like, the the sure. like the main point and so i'm like i mean yeah like that's true but i don't like okay no, like I st- it doesn't I still, change i still think you know? she's a piece of shit for it the only thing that i'm saying is retrospectively i think it's a fascinating tale because here you have like yeah. i'm not necessarily saying in terms of the trial i'm saying like in terms of a man if you are in a in a way i'm going to use this term and i and i and i don't think i'm going to be using it I don't think this is the right word to describe what I'm asking for. But if you are a person and you feel broken and you feel like you do, like mm-hmm. you need your fight, you're you're coping with something and you have the if you just happen to have the perfect cocktail of things in your life happening to where you are making hundreds of millions of dollars and you can enable yourself to cope however you want. That's a that might be a recipe for some consequences that you may not be aware are happening in those moments you know what i mean like i i sure. sympathize for his pain i sympathize for the fact that like he he I, I look at him and i feel like man you've really gone through some shit and you know the things that the small little things here and there that he said like i i really think he's a sweet guy i think he's mm-hmm. very like tender and i you know what i mean I, I i'm not i'm i don't believe i haven't been convinced that he's like a like a uh a violent, a, a person. violent person, yeah. but I do think that he is, has a lot of pain or a lot of emotional pain that he's been, you know, you know, going through, and his coping mechanisms have not been conducive to try. To, his coping mechanisms have just exponentially grown his pain. Yeah, so maybe but subdued I it. Think that- so, so it's just a cautionary tale for for me on that end of like look how much like be, be be careful how you cope or how you're coping or things like that uh, amber heard and trial aside just like you know yeah on that end i'm like I, through that perspective i'm like wow that's a really cautionary tale but then on another on another perspective i'm like holy shit like she, this woman really thinks she really thought, like you said, it's kind of like mm-hmm. horrifying, like that she could just get away with things because she's that hot, or but because I don't she's even, that, or she's there's that. So yeah, I feel like there's so many aspects to it, and that's why it's fascinating. I am so transfixed by this whole trial because from a different angles, I'm like, holy crap! Like this is like the perfect concoction of like drama cautionary tales uh uh, relationship uh horrors and just just overall celebrity 
what it means to be a celebrity cancel culture because he essentially was um, p- p- canceled, potentially canceled yeah. and he's in his his moment of reckoning or redemption or whatever like that right and then also just overall like people have been jumping to his defense People yeah. have been at, at first. People jump to her defense, and then all of a sudden, switch sides completely. And it goes back to the thing like my biggest thing when it comes to crimes and relationships, when it comes to allegations and relationships, especially some, especially when they're that public. I refuse to pick a side until it's over, because one or two things is going to happen when it's over. Either they got it wrong. And I get to complain about how, yo, the ju- this justice system is way the fuck fucked up. That's so wrong. Like, I, I side with this, right? Mm-hmm. When it's over. Or they get it right, and it's like, thankfully they got it right because what this person did is blah, 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 blah. And then we can have a cultural conversation but about it. But how would it. you know if they get it wrong or they get it right if you don't, if you, like, because when you say I pick a side, I don't think people are picking a side in the sense that are like, I like this person better, so I'm going to support them. I think people, especially now, because we get so much information and we are so privy to a lot of shit, I think people pick a side because they have enough information that they're like, well... I mean, and, and, and that's, that's also for me, a cautionary tale. I don't think you should p- p- pick a side, no matter how much information you have so far, because new information comes up mm-hmm. at 